Hi kids! Welcome to this week's edition of TBC Kids Club. I'm your host, Crafty Aggie. TBC Kids Club is a children's club that seeks to promote learning through art, crafts, and do-it-yourself activities. If you are a parent, register on the links below and subscribe to our channel. Let's begin, shall we? Did you know that a group of elephants is called a herd? In this activity, I'll be showing you how to make an elephant. So, what's your favorite thing about elephants? Hmm. I like how they always move and stick together, leaving no one behind. You will need the following materials. A set of wax crayons. If you can't find this at home, you can just use normal watercolors or colored pencils. This is a circular template. It's insulating tape. So if you cannot find this at home, just work with a plastic cup or a bowl. Next, we have a black marker pen. If you, if you also can't find this, just use a pencil, a black crayon, or a black pen. Next, we have a pair of scissors. So these are very sharp. Make sure you ask for help from an adult whenever you're handling them. Next, we have glue stick. The last item that we will be using is paper. Mine is white on one end and green on the other. But don't worry, you can just use normal white copy paper. All these items can be found at textbook center. Step one, draw an arc using your circular template. Take your marker pen and draw the arc. The arc is just a small curve, like this, like a rainbow arc. Step two, now let's draw the ears of the elephant. Now, you remember the arc that we had drawn earlier, right? This will form the forehead. From this, we'll draw the ears. And the ears of an elephant are very big. So, follow me as I draw. We will draw two number threes. So let's start with this side. Then on the other side. So check out the number threes. Now we will draw the inner lining of the ears. So it's just following the outline that we have drawn. And then closing with a straight line. And we do the same for this other side. And then we close like that. Step three, we are going to draw the body and the feet of the elephant. So let's start with the body. The body is just another arc. Just trying to mimic how fat elephants are. Then let's go to the feet, which are just thumbs. Mm. Then let's draw the toes. Done. Step four. Now we're going to draw the eyes and the nose of the elephant. So we'll just draw two small circles. And then we'll draw two dots. Those are the eyes. Then for the nose, we'll just do the, you, we will use the cup of our glue stick to draw a circle. So just place it there and slowly go around it. There. Step five, the fun part. Coloring. 
So take your wax crayons, colored pencils or watercolors and let's begin coloring our elephant. It seems like there is no gray here. So what I'll do is that we we'll use black but lightly color so that it looks like gray. Not so bad, right? So let's just continue coloring. Though you are free to use any other color, you know it's not bad to have colorful elephants. It's just play with your imagination. That's okay. So we color, 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 color. I'm trying to color inside my drawing here. I don't want to go outside the, the marker pen outline. So this will take some time, but it's okay. What other fun facts do you know about elephants? Type in your answers in the comment section below. leaving out the toes to remain white in color so if you have white crayon or a white colored pencil or even I know watercolors have the color white so you can just color them in white but I'll just leave them white as they are since I don't have that color in my set here then I go to now the ears So don't also shave inside the eyes. We're okay, almost done now, just this part of the face and the other ear. So most elephants that I've seen before are gray or have a tinge of gray color. That's why I chose green. Let me show you how it looks. Now let's go on and color the ears of the elephant. I'm using pink. So I'll we'll just color within the line. like the number three. Blow off the excess crayon from your picture. And we are done. Step six, we now want to cut out our elephant using a pair of scissors. So just cut your elephant following the outline Right here. Just 
follow my tag. It's almost out. Here. Now, what we want to do is cut off this circle. What you do, just fold your paper in half gently. Just take your time when doing this. Hold it at this level. Don't completely crease it down. Then take your scissors and just cut through. Just following the line. Right. So this is the hole. Finally, play time! Now who can tell me what's missing on our elephant? the trunk if you say trunk you're right now let me show you how we're going to do it we'll be using our fingers so insert your finger through this hole over here now can you see the trunk can you see it oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. we're done take a photo of your elephant and upload it using the hashtag tbc kids club to stand a chance of winning fun gift hampers from textbook center so what do you take on a hot sunny day an ice lolly a glass of cold juice personally i love a cool slice of pineapple fruit in this activity i'll be showing you how to make a pineapple fruit we'll be making the crown the fleshy bit together with the thorns you will need the following materials a pair of scissors Always ask for help when handling any sharp objects. Next, we will need a black marker pen. If you can't find this, just use a pencil, a black pen or black crayon. Next, we will need a ruler. This is 30 centimeters long. Then we have glue stick. Finally, we will need three A4 sheets of paper, two yellow sheets, one green sheet. All these materials can be found at Textbook Center. Let the pineapple making begin. Step 1. Using a marker pen, draw the fleshy bit on the yellow paper. The fleshy bit is the one which is usually yellow in color when the pineapple fruit is cut open. So draw a straight line. Then a curve. And another curve on the other side to meet with the other arc that is the curve and complete the outline step two on your green paper draw the leaves which will form the crown of your pineapple so this is a green paper first fold it in half like this press it down then we will draw one side of the leaf So that when it comes to cutting, you'll just cut on one side and you'll get two. Then we'll draw a smaller set here of leaves. Step three. Now let's cut out all our drawn parts using a pair of scissors. So we'll start with a fleshy bit, which is on our yellow paper. So just cut. Just slowly. 
following the outline. Okay, now we're almost done with cutting one of the leaves which will form the crown. So these are the parts. This will form the crown, so we will stick them like this. And then they will go like that. Now our pineapple is coming to life. Step four. Now we're going to make as many strips on the yellow paper using our ruler. So place your ruler on top of the paper like this. And we are just going to read through the paper and these are the strips that we are talking about. So go on and make as many as possible. So these are one, two, three, four, and five. Step six. Fold these strips of paper in half and cut them at the center. So, first fold them in half. Using a pair of scissors, cut them over there. So, these are the first pair of strips. Let me show you another way of cutting with, without the help of either a pair of scissors or a ruler. So make sure this line is very crisp. And what you do, you just hold this one down and cut through the paper like that. Then I'll also show you how to cut the strips in half using a ruler. So again, make sure your line here is very crisp, the crease line that is. And then take your ruler and cut Make sure you're holding it very firmly, then cut through that half. So that's the, the third way. So we have used our hands, we have used our ruler, we have used a pair of scissors to make those strips, to cut them in half. Step seven, we now want to stick the strips onto the fleshy bit of our pineapple. Take your strip and fold it into a circle like this. We're going to stick them on the base in this manner. So take your glue stick, dab some of it on the base. It should look like this. See, there's some space there, so make sure you don't press it down. We go on and do this for all the other strips. Okay, as many as can fill up this fleshy bit, but we just repeat this, the same process. First glue, then stick down one end of the strip, or then add some more glue over here. Then fold your paper like that and press it down. See the direction of this particular strip is different from all these other ones. So let's continue sticking. It looks 
looks like these strips of paper will not be enough so we will make more luckily I have more yellow paper so we can just do it quickly We are out of yellow strips, so what we'll do, we'll put this aside, make more strips, repeating the same process. So let's continue gluing them. Take your glue, put some of it on the base, then you stick down the strip, add some more glue, then you stick it down, close it. sticking all the strips of paper and this is how the fleshy bit now looks like. Step 8, we now want to make the thorns. To do this, we will use a marker pen and lightly draw onto these circles an X shape. Be careful not to flatten the strips so you can even hold your, your pen at an angle. You just make the, the X shapes. So this will be the thorns. Do it on all of the strips. Done. Finally, we want to stick the crown to the fleshy bit of the pineapple. Remember we had two leaves, so take the larger one and smear some glue at the bottom end of it, like this. So this part will be stuck on this fleshy bit there, like that. So just press it down. Let me show you. So it's like that. That one is already stuck. Now what to do with this smaller one? This smaller one, just fold your paper in half along the line that we have formed in the, in the beginning, like this. Open it out again, and then take your glue stick and glue it on that same line. And then we want to stick it at the middle. There was also a line formed here, so just stick it right there. Like this so you can even hold it like that so that you make sure that everything is all stuck together okay then open it out a bit like this but still allowing some space between this big one and the small one so it will look a bit 3d ish it won't be completely flat and that is how you make a pineapple fruit let me show you how it looks like. The crown and the base and the thorns. So let me hold it up. Look, so juicy, so very, very juicy. 
looks so sweet. I can't wait to bite into a real pineapple fruit. That's it! Thank you so much for watching. Don't miss out on the chance of winning fun gift hampers from Textbook Center. Simply upload photos of your projects using the hashtag TVC Kids Club. Remember to subscribe to this channel and click the links below for more details. See you all next time. Bye!